guys, I came out to the garden to check on things. Um, we've had a few good frosts, so remember I made the little the little things to put the tarps over them. And then it, it's been raining a lot. My rain barrel's full to the top, which I have to drain it. Which makes me sad because, you know, I can't leave it in there if it's going to freeze. But uh, luckily the weather's not supposed to go below the mid 40s here for the next week so I'm not going to do it yet because um, I still use it to water the garden when it hasn't rained but it has, I don't know, I have more water than I need so that's a blessing I guess but um, it did rain, let me show you, this is the leaks, see my big rocks, <laughs> it rained and the, filled up the tarp in between each of these square parts of this thing I put in there and then like was caving it down and then the rocks fell like slid but luckily they didn't smash any of the leaks and um I think they're still growing and doing good I put fish emulsion on them like last month and today I just put some of this um this organic all-purpose it's got like chicken feather meal and stuff like that the neighbor dogs really like it, so you have to make your fence really tight because they'll just want to come and dig it up. Even my little dog, who doesn't like to walk on the mulch, is like a fiend for it and comes running out here. So, just that little tidbit for you. The Brussels sprouts got kind of smashed because um, I've been working a lot of days and it's been raining. And when I work, 8 to 8, and you know, it's dark in the morning and dark in the evening and then it's muddy and I don't want to like come out here in the dark I've been lazy and I had a cold I haven't been feeling good so that's my excuse for letting the rain smash my plants on the tarp they push the tarp down on them well, anyhow the one turnip this is what I really came out here for I'm gonna pull it up because it's massive and it's shading some of the leaks and um, the greens, even if I don't have a big turnip in here, I'm sure there's plenty enough greens. Ugh. Holy mackerel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't even know if there's a turnip in the middle of all this. Kind of. <laughs> it smells good. It smells like um. It smells like cabbage. Ugh. Anyway, so there's sort of a turnip in there, and all the greens. Oh, I just turned you sideways. So I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's not too big. It doesn't taste so great anymore, but. I'm going to try roasting it up. I'm going to try to cook up these greens. I'm not a big greens fan, but one of my friends is a good old-fashioned country cook. And she said a little fat back in there. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with fat back. It makes them good. So this should make me a nice pot of greens. And I'll try maybe roast the turnip with some sweet potatoes and stuff in the oven. Anyhow. That's all what I got going on in my little garden right now. Take care, guys. Look. Oh, yeah, look what else. This is in the leak bed. Remember when I made it, I had the dirt spread real thin and I scooped it all up. I had tried to plant some lettuce. Sorry. My nose is running. And a lot of it didn't even come up. So that's why I was like, well, let me just scoop it over here and make this deeper for the leaks. And now I'm noticing that because I planted some organic Lolita red type lettuce. Look, lettuce, 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 <laughs> more red lettuce. So that's a little bonus, some lettuce intermixed with the leeks. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad they're coming up because I was really sad when they didn't the first time, so it was just too hot before, I think. So, just wanted to add that on that I got, 
got some lettuce coming up finally.